Thank you, Your Excellency. For... Crafted by technocrats in the finance ministry and fronted by the National Planning Authority, the estimated $200 billion Vision 2040 project, which was launched last week by President Jeremy Museveni at the Kololo Ceremonial Grounds in Kampala, suggests that Uganda will be a modern country within three decades. Its promoters hope for private sector-led transformation of the current peasant society through flagship projects, which include a high-tech city and associated infrastructure, large countrywide irrigation schemes, among others. This side of the economy will create more jobs, provide more products, and generate more taxes. However, leading entrepreneur Sir Gordon Vamuno is of the view that the project, though well intended, is unfortunately the brainchild of a narrow section of the society. This Uganda Vision 2 2040 is not one man's work. Collectively, there is a number of people whom I think and companies, individual, would have been part of it. And I don't believe that we can achieve the obligation, the targets, the promises, which has been possibly put down on, the, the, on their plan. What's more, that plan, that, that, that vision is not out for everybody to read it and to understand exactly how we are going to achieve it. Part of the project includes the introduction of a standard gauge railway network with high-speed trains. This is a true dream, as I said. To have those, uh, 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 to have a network of a train, it's a project which has to have a, a thorough study, and that study has to be done by expert. We involve the manufacturing of those trains. Will it be electrical? Will it be with the diesel engine? Will, and as far as I'm concerned, I am in business. I haven't seen that plan. In a country where a majority of youth can hardly find jobs after school, Sir Gordon Wavamuno raises concern over government's promise of transforming a predominantly peasant Ugandan and low-income country of a per capita income, 506 U.S. dollars, into a competitive upper-middle income country of a per capita income of 9,500 U.S. dollars by 2040. Those today who are getting even half a million, Maybe they will get one million, but you cannot jump from nothing and you got 25 million. Get somebody from Makerere, he has been on the street for two years, or he has just lived, left Makerere, and you give him one million. Do you know what he will start with? He will look for a watch, a nice shoes, a nice uh, uh, musigo. Before even he starts buying either chicken or granite or something to market it, he wants first to help himself. Because he's a lady. Whereas government is optimistic that the Vision 40 program will be of advantage to the livelihood of Ugandans, a section of them are still doubting the program, saying that nothing will be achieved. We have not yet been enrolled for computer lessons. You can't plan for the future when the present has failed. Several developmental initiatives have been undertaken by government that have promised to dramatically improve on the livelihoods of Ugandans in the recent years. And it is anybody's guess whether the Vision 2040 can become a reality offered without as much pomp and optimism, which it has been unveiled. Shamim Batalwo, WBS News.